Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Bob, CEO and founder of Crypto Icon Media and uh, you are watching Crypto Icon, a show where I talk about everything around crypto, web3 and blockchain technology. So today we will take a look at some of major crypto news and some hot updates, but please note that I'm not a financial advisor, it is just for information and entertainment purpose. So let's go for it. But before that, I'm just going to talk about current market price. So today's cryptocurrency price by market cap, the global crypto market cap is $1.17 trillion, which is uh, 0.47% decrease over the last time. The total crypto market over the last 24 hours is $34.06 billion, which makes a 16.42% decrease. The total volume in DeFi is currently $3.39 billion, which is 9.96% of the total crypto market 24 hour volume. The volume of all stable coin is now 28 point 33 billion dollar which is uh, 83.19 percent of the total crypto market 24 hour volume bitcoin dominance is currently 45.89 percent an increase of 0.15 percent over the day and uh, today's bitcoin price is 27,947 dollar ethereum price is 1859 dollar and bnb price is 311 dollar all right so let's go for that today's story and first story is coming up through utoday.com so i would give this credit to utoday.com and the story says crypto decentralized identified as u.s security risk by treasury department the united states treasury department has recently published a report em- emphasizing the potential security threats uh, arising from the expanding decentralized finance industry the report points out the vulnerabilities in DeFi service that are being exploited by malicious actors including ransomware hackers and North Korean cyber operatives to launder illegal funds. Moreover, the report highlights the difficulties in surviving and enforcing obligations related to anti-money laundering and countering terrorism terrorist financing due to the often and uh, nature of DeFi service organizational structures. And uh, let's go for the second story which is coming up from cryptobriefing.com. So I would give this credit to cryptobriefing.com and the story says Binance to shut down is its Australian derivative services. Binance Australian Financial Services license is being terminated meaning that Australian residents will no longer be able to open derivatives position on the exchange and the heading is uh, 104 user impacted Binance has its hands full which regulators all around the world the Australian Securities and Investment Commission announced today that leading global crypto exchange Binance would no longer allow Australians clients to hold trade crypto derivatives According to the press release, ASIC received yesterday a request from Austria's trading private limited trading as Binance Australian Australia derivatives to terminate its Australian financial service license. The decision to terminate derivatives trading for Australian residents was therefore made by Binance itself. And uh, let's go for the third story, which is coming up through. Uh, ambcrypto.com so I would give this credit to ambcrypto.com and the story says Bitcoin will trade like gold or treasury bonds in the future Bloomberg strategies are credits senior micro strategies at Bloomberg uh, Mike McGlow believe that the Bitcoin network has never been more secure than it is now McGlow McGlown shared his view on the cryptocurrency industry on LinkedIn, focusing on hot topics like Bitcoin liquidity regulatory framework and stable coins. He points out the Bitcoin hash rate has increased by an impressive 25% since the beginning of the year, indicating that network participates confidence is now at all time high. The higher the the index the more difficult it is for 
anyone to control the network or manipulate transaction and bitcoin hash rate not only doubled during the 2022 bear market but it is still increasing this is despite direct attack on miner by us regulator according to the strategies and uh, let's go for the last story which is coming up from blockworks.com so i would give this credit to blockworks.co and the story says 75 percent of crypto holders own nft survey says nearly 30 percent said they got their hands on their first nft within the last year over 75 percent of crypto holders own nfts coin geeko and blockchain risk a research lab survey found this high adoption rate is likely due to the fact that the audience for nfts is a lot more mainstream than traditional crypto according to co-founder of arcade xyz gabe frank anthony georgigas co-founder of uh, pastel network added that while the 75 percent figure could be inflated nft are starting to get snapped by up up by more traditional crypto enthusiasts and for normal consumers they are easier to understand than other blockchain based investment assets and guys this is the end of the story today if you like the content of this video please give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button also press the notification bell icon so you will receive more content like this every day and don't forget to check out our official link of major crypto platform in the description of this video and i would love to hear your feedback and suggestions so do comment your thoughts below and please share this video with your friends on social media facebook twitter and instagram at bob ashish and also at crypto icon media to learn more about our company and let me talk about what exactly we do. Crypto Icon Media is full service and active. Crypto media agency, digital marketing, social media, and branding. And guys, if you are listening to this content on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any other podcast platform, then do hop on our YouTube channel for the real action. And guys, if you want to get 100 USDT, so get World Biggest Crypto Exchange Binance and deposit more than $50 into your Binance account, and we will both get 100 USDT as a cashback voucher. Thank you once again. And please like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you.